Today in the pedal vault, the Lichtlam Audio as a hatter. The Acer Hatter from Lichtlam Audio is a boost pedal with an EQ section. And well, it comes in this really classy looking black metal housing with an additional plate where it has the artwork. It's the Acer Hatter. And this is actual real gold. At least that's what I was told. And I think it looks really awesome. It looks clean. And well, I really like this kind of artwork. Apart from the outer appearance, it comes with two foot switches, two big knobs and four small knobs. The two foot switches activate the effect itself and here you can toggle the EQ section so you can bypass it or activate it. The EQ section, it's a classic four band EQ, bass, low mid, high mid, treble. And then we have the overall level and a cut where we can basically cut the bass. So let's have a look at the actual curve. First of all, just engage the effect. Now you don't see anything because level is at zero. So let's fully crank it here. You can see how loud it can actually be. And when we activate the cut, it cuts the low frequencies. So let's deactivate cut. Let's bring level to well, around here. And let's activate the format EQ. Now the LED shifts to a blue white. Now base decreases the highs and seems to be kind of like a shelf. So low mid. around 440 also affects the highs and those are all really broad EQ moves or rather yeah around the 3 to 400 Hertz region the mud area now high mid seems to be at around 1.5 or maybe around 1K, 1.1. And travel also acts kind of like a shelf. Okay, so let's find out how this pedal actually sounds.
You might know by now I'm a fan of boost pedals, although I will always almost boost with an HM2 style of pedal, but I have a couple of other pedals. And uh, this one might be my new favorite boost pedal because I can, well, <laughs> it has so, so much volume that I can put in front of the amp that it uh, really, uh, brings the driven amp to new realms. It uh, makes almost every sound uh, more distorting and brings it in heavy metal territories. I also like the cat because then I can easily get rid of uh, the flabbiness and make it even more aggressive. And on the plus side, we even have a four band EQ. And with this four band EQ, you can basically shape the sound any way you want. You can give it some chainsaw -y flavor, you can give it some treble boost flavor, you can give it some classic rock flavor if you want to boost the mids, uh, the low mids. And I really like this versatility. It's almost as if I would change my amp to a Mark IV and will basically shape the frequencies before it uh, runs into the game, which I basically do because this has no gain stage. Anyways, with the original SA header that didn't have the uh, four band EQ, I thought, well, while it was cool, I didn't, couldn't see myself using it, but this one I can see use myself, well, always every time that I want a modern sound or maybe even a vintage sound. Anyways, what do you think about the Asa Hatter or what do you think of boost pedals that are not HM2 in general? Write a comment down below in the comment section. If you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description. And with that said, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the force be with you and have a nice day.